Hi everyone, it's good to see you again. Up till now, we just laid out our views in the storyboard, but storyboard allows us to do more than that. We can add more view controllers, link them up, and define the transitions between them. In this video, we'll learn how to use navigation view controller to display hierarchical controllers so that all scenes in the navigation controller can navigate to each other. We've embedded the welcome scene into a navigation controller. You see a navigation bar appear at the top, we don't want to see it, so let's simply hide it by selecting None Style in the top bar field. Okay, now to navigate to the sign up from Welcome, we'll use a Segue. In Storyboard, the transition between two scenes is called a Segue. Simply press Control, then drag from Create a New Account button to the Sign Up view. Then, sh then choose Show Action, so that we can switch view from Welcome to the Sign Up scene by clicking the Create a New Account button. Typically, we use show action segu type for the navigation controller. Okay, we now will find a way to switch back to the welcome scene. All right, because the signups including a close button at the top left, so that we'll want to push back to the welcome scene by tapping on the close button. To do that, we need to establish the connection between the close button and the signup file. Let's select close button, then hold control and drag into the signup controller as we did before for the label. Make sure the connection at the top is action, then type a meaningful name for it. To push back to the last controller in the navigation controller, we call pop view controller on the navigation controller. Okay, let's switch to the signup view, then tap on the close button to see how it works. Very good. Similarly, Let's create a segu between sign up and sign in controllers. We want to switch to sign in by clicking on the sign in button of the sign up scene. So the segu will start from there. Let's also make a segu between sign in and forgot password scenes. All right. And again, make an IB action for the sign up button and the sign in view. Then call pop view controller on navigation controller. All right, let's test it out. Very good. Finally, mimic the process to switch back to the sign in view from forgot password view. All right, we're now all set. Let's run the app and see how the app works. All right, we now can walk through all scenes easily. Fantastic. See you next time.